This hedge is just getting to the right height for its first top prune and shaping. These sublime lily pillies can be kept shorter than their natural tree size and shape by cutting the top off. So, let's see how the experts do it. Start from the top down. Prune the top first and then the sides. By trimming in layers, hedging is made easier using one of these type of machines. Shears also work well, but just need a little more effort. Take a maximum of a third off the plant in one season. Repeat the top prune every year so the plants do not get above your desired height. Left unpruned, Sublime becomes a beautifully full-sized tree, but with yearly top pruning, it can be hedged. In warmer climates like Queensland, a twice per year pruning may be required. Sublime Acmenia is one of the best lime coloured hedges there is. And one of the best parts of this plant is the lack of pests and diseases compared to other lily pilly plants. Fertilise for a more shiny leaf with slow release fertiliser every couple of years and enjoy. If you are using Sublime as a tree, you can prune the underneath for shaded gardens or an entertainment area, or leave it growing all the way to the ground for pruned privacy or left full height and all the way to the ground for an awesome full-sized windbreak or a pruned, trouble-free, narrow windbreak. It seems to cope with periodic waterlogged soils or relatively dry conditions in trials. Depending on how you prune Sublime will shape its use tree, medium to large hedge or windbreak. Just remember, prune for the first time as a hedge at about half the height you want it to eventually reach. I want these plants never to get more than double the height they are now. So if you want a four metre high hedge, prune first at two metres, then gradually over the years increase till it gets four metres high.